saw. We uh, had a few days off. Oh, don't drive down the gully there. As you can see, I'm on the dozer. Um, yeah, had a few days off, just poking around, doing some house jobs, you know what they're like. Um, finishing a few things off, tidying a few things up, so that was good. Um, back back on the machine, so I've got all the fellas back on deck. We're gassing, we're spraying, we're rock picking, we're dozering, uh, gratering, so it's all happening, which is good. I like it. So, the job for today is we're in this new section and we've got a waterway here which is quite eroded back there behind us it fills up there so what we're doing is we're just going to make it like a spoon drain and then we've got a heap of rock up on the hill there where the excavator and that is and once we leave it nice and like a flat bottom and then the sides will come up at a nice batter uh, and then there yeah, we'll be able to lay rock in it so what we're going to do is I'm just setting my new uh, AB for this so I'll go surfaces I want a new one we'll call this uh, waterway WW and then Phil's done the top section so I'll go B okay I want a slope and plane surface so he's he put his uh, B benchmark here so because I'm working further down I'll set my A benchmark there yep and then I'll go for a little mosey on down there and I'll get a, uh, a B mark and then we'll be right to right to get into it so we've had quite a little bit of rain to be honest um, not massive amounts like some other parts of the country but in saying that we've uh, probably had maybe 100 mil plus over the last uh, two three weeks i'd reckon which is lovely so we're just we'll have a bit of moisture not the best for earth moving but the uh, cotton will like it um, Matt's actually going, uh, he's going to spray fertiliser on the cotton today and we're going to try it with the weeder. So we're just spraying the, uh, obviously the cottons and if there is the odd weed there, well, we'll be spraying them too, I suppose. <laughs> but anyway, the, the spray job's done a good job down here on the canola country is good just a few little ones starting to come up so we'll probably just keep keep spraying over here where we've been had the organics going it's um coming back with a regrown uh self-sown wheat so we'll probably do another work up on that i'd reckon at some stage when we get a chance anyway Oh, nearly fell me in there. I got a phone call, so I'll catch us uh, in a bit. Oh, good morning, folks. It's uh, currently the 3rd of January 2024. So, happy new year to all you guys out there. And uh, yeah, we're just getting into this uh, waterway here with the two dozers. So, that's sort of what we're looking at. Just making a bit of a spoon drain. And where well, these are the sort of holes that we're filling in here, so we've got a bit of size to them. We uh, just, uh, yeah, I might put this up here on the other side and just can have a look at, yeah, getting filled in. So, yeah, it's quite a bit higher than me in here. And we got right over there, starting down further. So got quite a hole over there to fill as well. And uh, yeah, so it's probably uh, a kilometre of this. And then we'll get back into some contours.
folks that's how you fill in a hole without even breaking a sweat so that's uh going very good we'll just keep on poking along here might take us a couple of days to get it all tidied up and we'll uh yeah get onto the conduits it's uh day two on our waterway project so yes we've uh as you can see it's all fairly well filled in all the gullies uh Brad's uh dozer is up there he hasn't shown today he must have slept in or went fishing or something no nah, i think he's actually fixing a bit of gear so what we've done over here is over there uh, we've filled in the gullies more and then what I've done is got a rip uh, I've ripped what I want to push out so I can get a bit more level and I'm excavating about 400 mil of dirt in the bottom here for a spoon drain so we can fit so essentially what dirt I'm pushing out now, that's going to be filled in with rock in the bottom. So we should, uh, yeah, go pretty good there. The easy part is pushing out with the dozer. It'll be a bit more time consuming uh, with the excavator and dump truck, filling, filling it up with rock. But I guess we've got plenty of rock here to do it. We'll just poke away at it at our leisure. Well, you know, we're back it's in the afternoon now and uh, nearly knock off time. But we're, as you can see, I'll show you going back. We've sort of rebuilt that part of the waterway. I'll turn you around. We've got this part of the waterway done pretty well. I'm just uh, battering off. Uh, over here's a, a big old contour bank, so I've just uh, got to re-jig uh, the um, entry point into the waterway just so it doesn't have a big drop off. So yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm just trying to make the fill did that section up there, and I'm doing probably this section. So I just want to, well, I just want to uh, try and get it so it lines up, you know look a bit untidy otherwise wouldn't it we were wanting to have it straight we'll, we'll call that straight-ish it just naturally curves with the country a little bit so it's just got gentle gentle curves right g'day guys it's uh late afternoon a few days later than when you last saw me i had a uh a battery go on me right in the middle of my profound speech <laughs> no um so i'm just trying to remember where i left off i think yeah we were just finished the contour uh, sorry waterway just below us i'll show you so that line along there it goes all the way out there so that's our main waterway we sort of dress that off it's come up pretty well what I'm doing now is just, you see behind me here, there's this waterway. Uh, it's quite deep up further, but where I'm at the moment, it's really not that bad at all. So I'm just giving it a light dress off, really. Um, yeah, Phil's poking around just there on the other side. We're just going to start putting our contours in. Now on this side, this is the northern part. Uh, this is the bit that's probably the most wild. It's got lots of uh, rock knobs and uh, ridgy bits, uh, various slopes. So doing con contours will be a bit of fun actually. Be all sorts happening. So yeah, but anyway, I just uh, that's about where we're up to at the moment. The boys are still gassing um, JD's rock picking uh, Matt's doing whatever Matt does funny I was just just on the phone organising we're putting this gas on at the moment and I'll uh, a shout out to Jay so I 
the truck driver, he delivers it from Maitland and um, he said, I think I know you guys, so he's a, he's a keen watcher of the channel apparently, so that was, that was pretty cool. So it's good to, good to see that there's different people out there interested in farming. Certainly never a dull moment. dressing that bank up I'll up around there you'll see the hill which is pretty steep across there so there might be some wild angles going on <laughs> but anyway we seem to be going not too bad really we've got uh, distance up there you'll see maybe the excavator we got uh, Jamie's going on it so we'll see he's 14 we got him training up on the uh, seven out the rock in the wind rows. And I'll just turn you around behind me here. So over there near the fuel trailer and the utes and that, you'll see some piles there. Um, Riley, my young fella's been on the dump truck. So he's been, he's been doing that. What's he, 12? So 
both of them are working together well and we just had Robbo this morning level out the bottom of the, the, the waterway so they can um, just get a bit faster on the hook on, we're making it a haul road in the bottom at the moment so what we're doing over there is he's putting um, we're getting him to put a line on one side and a line on the other side of rocks and dirt and then an opening up the middle so that if we do get rain or the water can flow out so that's the plan there so this side of the hill around here we're probably going to do another three or probably five banks all, all up on this side and then we'll head over to the, the north side of that hill and uh, we've got lots and lots there so there's lots of exciting things happening um, come back to you so I thought the boys might be oh yeah there's the dump truck coming oh. they're starting to get fairly full loads Jamie is too so it's good I think here's Riley I'll turn you around he's tearing along I think he can get third gear now apparently so he's probably doing his 25 k's 30 k's maybe like a fair bit of rock in there so yeah wonderful righty -o. Well, if I leave you hooked up with me mic here I might remember I'll show you around when we get a bit of a bit of slope here on the country righty -o, we're just up the top side here so this is sort of the slope we're dealing with up this uh, hill here the old cameras never do it justice, but we, this bit's all uh, rock over here. Obviously there's a bit of dirt, there's grass growing. So we're just trying to catch all the water off that grass hill so it doesn't go down there. I'll just, uh, just got to do some fiddly stuff here. I'll try and hold the camera trying to dress the end of this bank off where it comes close to this fence here. got to do some other little errands but um just here in the ute and this is what the boys are doing with the excavator here you can see the rock pile no more so there's i think riley's going on it now so said so rule number one don't put the uh bucket over the cab and rule number two don't hit the truck so 
out and he's done a few loads now. We just got him going at idle, so everything's nice and slow. See if he muffs up on the camera. <laughs> Quite a bit of rock in here, isn't it? Once they got the basics, you just, I reckon you let them poke along and uh, just do a bit of learning, on the job learning, eh? And then, um, and you come in after a few hours or a few days and you give them a couple of little more pointers and you sort yeah, of pick stuff up as you go. You but anyway, good on you guys. Yeah.